Amy Corey. I'm from Little River Farm in Canterbury, Connecticut, and we raise Gotland sheep. So these are my two Gotland babies. They're six months old. This is Effie and this is Edie, um, and they're Gotland lambs. Um, so Gotland is a breed that we have brought from Sweden. They've only been in the United States since about 2002. Um, and uh, they're really special because of their long wool, but they're not coarse like most of the long wools we have in this country. They've got this gorgeous, lustrous, soft wool. Um, so they have this beautiful shine to them when you open up the, the locks. And um, they're a smaller breed. These are only six months, but they won't get too, too much bigger. So they're still really manageable and lovable. They're super inquisitive. Um, and they're, they're a little bit different than most of the sheep I've raised. It's interesting. They they grew up in Gotland, so grazing on the shores of the you know the uh, oceans, and um, so they uh, yeah. So it's we we found that we really loved them. We raised Lincolns and we raised blue faced Leicesters. Um, but I'm a pure Gotland girl now. <laughs> I just love these girls. Will they maintain that, that pretty charcoal color throughout the so whole life? So this one will. Usually they're born black, and then they get lighter and lighter as they get older. So she was born pure black, like she was. But obviously she has more of the genetics to, to get this nice charcoal color. But this is much more typical of the Gotland breed, the silver with the black head. But this is what color they are when they come out, all completely black. And then as they get older, they do lighten up. And she's lightened up a little bit, but she's obviously going to keep this darker charcoal color. And they, they do range all shades of gray. I kind of joke and say they're my 50 shades of gray. But, yeah. <laughs> so is that a uniform thing? Or are they lighter on the ends of, of it's the pretty, fiber? It's pretty uniform throughout. I mean, if you, it, you know, if they get into the summer sun, they might get a little bit bleached on the tips, but usually it stays. And, and she'll lighten up as she gets older too. She'll get a little bit lighter. Um, so the ones in the picture that we're seeing here behind us, yep. they are almost a whiter. Is that the sheen or I is think that... that's just the sheen. Yeah, they're real they're 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 this color, just real silvery and um, yeah. And you can see even in that picture there's a little bit of variation. There's a couple darker and a couple lighter. This is by far sort of the typical traditional Gotland look here. Um, so now how are they they different? You said they're different from other breeds. Well, I, I, they're excellent foragers. I mean, they'll they'll act like goats and climb trees to eat things, and they'll eat the bottom. One interesting difference about them is that um, copper is toxic to most sheep, but Gotland actually require it. So they've been kind of cool in that way. When I first got my Gotland, I had goats, and I always had to really struggle to keep the goats and the sheep separate because the goats need copper, and most sheep don't, and so you can't feed them together because... Uh, they need, the, but the Gotland need that copper, so you can feed them with goats and it's okay. So now, that's that kind is, of a cool thing. That is really interesting. And it Some really... evolutionary, you know, difference, I think, from the from the, the years on the island of Gotland. So. But if you have specific requirements on your land and you have copper, I mean, you don't want to be just out of luck for sheep altogether. So this this is a really right. easy way to solve that well, problem. Well, I think almost every um, animal needs a certain amount of copper. I mean, we do. And so sheep actually, you know, they do get copper naturally from the grass that they eat, but the, you just wouldn't want to get them any extra copper because it would build up toxicity. So, I mean... But these guys need a little extra than they would just normally get. So That's so you do have to give them that supplement somehow, whether you give them goat treats or you add it to your feed. You have to get that copper supplement for them. So, so do you uh, know how long this breed's been around? We've had them in the United States since about 2002. Um, but they've been around since Viking times. They're, they're Viking sheep. Um, in, in Sweden, there was a land race sheep and there was an ancient Guta sheep. And when the Vikings traveled, of course, they took sheep with them and brought sheep back because they needed it to eat on the boats and stuff. So the, the Vikings brought back Karakul and Romanov sheep from Russia and bred them with their land race sheep that they had in Sweden. And that's how we got the Gotland breed of sheep. So, so they are an improved breed. They're not primitive. They're, they're an improved long wool breed, but the Vikings did the improvement. So they've been, and then in the 1920s in Sweden, they, they is when sort of this breed sort of evolved up to, till about then, and they've been, this has been the breed standard since about the 20s in Sweden, so, and they're just gorgeous and beautiful. In Sweden, they're known as the Pelsfar sheep, which means pelt sheep, and they're grown and prized primarily for those pelts, um, and, you know, for the fur skins, and, the, you know, all over Sweden are these beautiful pelts, and they're really gorgeous, um, 
and, and the meat is tender and good for eating. So that's in Sweden, they're going for the meat and the pelts. But in America, we just primarily prize them for their wool and, uh, and sh you know, the shearing. Um, but they, you shear them twice a year, so they are long wool, so they're really, really great with that. The other thing that's been fantastic about the Gotland is that they're just so hardy. I live in Connecticut, so the weather's really cold, but they have no problems throughout the winter. And when they lamb, they, they do it all by themselves. They're great mothers. The mothers are really milky. They, ha they really take care of their young. And um, the babies are born almost instantly getting up and trying to nurse. They just, they're ready to go. Whereas I've had sheep that you have to convince them to live. They just, <laughs> they don't even want to live. But these guys are, are hardy. The moms take care of them completely. I never had to help with a birth yet. Um, and uh, so that's a really wonderful thing about them too, that hardiness. They're great foragers. I, I just, like I said, I had a few different breeds of sheep and when I met these guys, I really fell in love. They're just, they're so special. So um, they're good girls. <laughs> so in terms of the wool, you have a great selection of wool yeah. here. Yeah. And I, this is one of my favorite colors, that charcoal gray. Yeah, it is gray. beautiful, I just isn't really it? Like, so that, that is, a, is a natural color um, depth that you get without ever having to do anything to the wool. Yeah, these are just all natural. Um, you can dye it, and it takes dye beautifully, but um, that's, I mean, that's sort of what the American uh, market has really loved about them is this beautiful silvery, lustery color. That, so all these shades of gray, yeah, so. No, there's no, yeah. So in terms of the in terms of the um, the the tensile strength, is it a softer? Is it a coarser? Yeah, I'm trying to think what the what the micron range on them is. I mean, it's not like a merino for sure. It's it's not. But but the lamb fleeces have really low microns. They're really soft and um, beautiful for that reason. So, so we're yeah. a ski sweater thing that feels good, but yet you can go down the mountain in it kind of thing. I no? would wear it next to my skin. Oh, okay, yeah. next to skin. especially a lamb fleece. You know, as they get older like any breed it's going to get a little more coarse you know so but that's what you know the market is really for the lamb fleeces because they're just so silky and soft um, yeah thank you yeah, so my much. pleasure thank you